Hello everyone, this is uh, Roxanne and you're tuned into On the Rocks with Roxanne. This is my first cooking segment and I'm excited to share with you folks uh, how to make a prison cheesecake. Um, in order to do this, you just need some very simple ingredients and these ingredients are stuff that we would order from Canteen. And Canteen was basically just items that were kind of like a grocery store that we could um, order and we'd get a weekly uh, order every week if we'd order and um, so all these items are basic items that you can find in your grocery store uh, anywhere but these items were just available on our canteen list. Our canteen list in the prison I was at um, consisted of maybe like 200 items and just so you know all of the items were marked up about 15 and a half percent so what you'd get in the store uh, you, you just want to uh, mark that up a lot so um, just due to the fact that they didn't care you're in prison and uh, that's just kind of how it worked. Uh, what you need for the prison cheesecake is non-dairy creamer as shown here so this would cost you about eight dollars in prison. Um, you just need regular sugar and we wouldn't get these big ones like this we would just get the small packets and you should usually could get 50 of those for about three dollars and fifty cents and we would get cream cheese so uh, it was actually really good it was Philadelphia cream cheese they, they come in little packets uh, just one serving packets and they were about 80 cents a piece uh, the next thing that I use for the prison cheesecake is oldie but a goodie the oatmeal cream pies these are delicious these are so easy and make it great for us so what I'm going to do is uh, you just start with the plastic bowl here like so and we're going to just open up these packets of cookies and place them into the bottom of the bowl. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Now we would make prison cheesecakes for people's birthdays, uh, celebrations, uh, you know, things that when people are about to leave, um, anything that we could celebrate in prison, we would um, just because it was just such a depressing place sometimes and you really miss your family, you miss your children and you know the birthdays would come and go and you know to celebrate with the friends that you had and made in there um, it's just something that I'll never forget. Um, I have to do just a quick shout out to one of my really good friends that taught me how to make this. Her name is Hillary. So Hillary, I hope that I do you justice as she taught me this very important culinary skill. So I've just emptied out all of these oatmeal um, cream pie cookies and I'm just going to just pat them down on the bottom of my bowl. Now we would uh, sometimes just use a microwave to just heat up the cookies a little bit just to make them nice and soft. Do you see how they're just um, uh, just crunching down really easily at the bottom here? Um, what, what I did is I'm at a beautiful park right now in uh, beautiful Denver and I was just able to leave these out and it's about 100 degrees today so no microwave needed. And this is also just really fun to do. You can just make these at home. Uh, it just is so easy. You can have your kids make it. I know that my daughter, she was really into the show called Nailed It and she would always make stuff, um, cakes and cookies and things like this. So this kind of a recipe just appeals to kids that enjoy cooking or you know, making something that they can make for you. And as you can see, there is our beautiful crust as shown here. Now what we're going to do is I've also just softened up this cream cheese nicely and I'm going to just take some and this is the magical part here. You just want to take a few scoops like this and I'm going to do about like this, about half like this and I'm going to just add uh, a little bit of sugar here, probably about three tablespoons about a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I hope that you do enjoy the prison spoons that I brought. I don't want to tell you how I snuck these out, but I wanted to make sure that this is as authentic as possible. So you're just slowly going to fold in the sugar and cream cheese as shown here and just mix it up. One of the coolest things that I saw one of my really good friends do, um, she was trying to come up with something original and something for one of her really good friends for her birthday and what she did and she decided to do like a really cool scavenger hunt. So she would have a clue that was something like uh, underneath the net and the girl would go, oh, underneath the net for the basketball hoop. So she'd go out to the yard and find the next clue there. So it was just a fun scavenger hunt and something that we just enjoyed doing. We'd always try to make up fun games 
things like that just to make it a little bit more interesting make it a little you know we want we want to make them work for it a little bit nothing's free in there and just so you know this prison cheesecake probably cost about twenty dollars to make with all the ingredients and everything so don't think that you were just gonna get a piece for free all right so I'm mixing in the cream cheese and I'm mixing in the sugar and it's just kind of looking like this this nice like thick consistency now here comes the magical part we've got our non-dairy creamer I'm gonna start folding this into it as well so we're gonna use a pretty good amount. We'll probably use for this um, size, we'll probably use about half of the non-dairy creamer. So I'm just gonna fold it in. See how it's thickening up nicely? Now the containers that I have are kind of small, so I'm probably gonna have to do two of these, but sometimes when you're in the position that I am in and you're rebuilding, just take what you can get <laughs> so so I'm just folding in this like so do a little bit more creamer so just like this beautiful now, if you want to get fancy, and people did get fancy, they would take sometimes a Milky Way or something, break it up into little pieces, add it into the cream, cheese, cream cheesecake mixture. So now you're just going to put it nice and gently in the bowl. You can also do layered cheesecakes, anything that you want. So I'm just gonna kind of pat that down here. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here. And I'm gonna go a little bit more here. I'm gonna use the rest of this cream cheese, more creamer, of course, more sugar. How many of you right now think that I can get somebody, a complete stranger here to maybe try this? I wonder if they would be brave enough. You know, it is Denver. <laughs> Who don't want a cheesecake on this 100 degree weather day? <laughs> This is just so much fun. It's so easy. It just tastes so good. And it just would brighten up our days while we were in there. Hopefully I don't get any grass or leaves in it, sticks. I don't know, maybe just a little extra protein never hurt anybody. The biggest thing you had to worry about in prison was somebody's long hair getting stuck in it. That was always the worst. I swear, there was hair everywhere here, here, everywhere. And I did the dog program, so combine that, two dogs in a room, small room, no bigger than a walk-in closet, trying to eat, trying to cook, <laughs> trying to sleep, go to the bathroom, it was just crazy. But we definitely, definitely made use of everything that we had, so. All right. So as you can see, look at how nice that is looking as I've got creamer all over me. Maybe it gets a little messy, getting a little wild out here. All right, and I'm just going to add that to this mixture here. Like so, and I'm going to just spread it out nice and evenly. And these bowls in prison, we use these bowls for everything. You can never have enough bowls. You cook soup in it. You make tacos in it. Wow, another thing I'm going to make is a seven layer bean dip. It's just amazing. I can't wait to show you all of the great things that we'll be making together. So here is our prison cheesecake as shown here. It is delicious and wonderful. And, um, uh, I hope that y'all will try this at home because it's super easy and really good. And oh wait, hey, hold on. Excuse me. Come here. Come here. Hey. hey. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Hey, do you want to try some of this prison cheesecake I just made? Mm, I know? saw you walking by. I am actually quite hungry. You are okay. I could use some do you? Cheesecake. I'm actually doing a podcast, so if you wouldn't mind, just if I record you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be a hard <laughs> critic then. Okay. <laughs> here, here's a spoon. See what you think. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna record you as we're doing this. Well, you're not even scared or anything. You just saw me doing all this weird stuff over here. And hey, I've eaten a lot worse, it looks like, so. <laughs> wow. What do you think? 
That's honestly really good. <laughs> I'm happy surprised how good that is. I'm telling you, this is great. All right, I'm so glad that you walked by and um, thanks so much for trying this out. What's your name? DJ. All right, DJ, I'm Roxanne. Nice to meet you, Roxanne. Thanks, thanks for, for the trying tape. to be. All right. Okay. Thanks for joining in, folks. I'm Roxanne with uh, On the Rocks. And thank you for joining for my next episode uh, with the uh, Women's Incarceration Project. Signing out.